what's going on guys today i want to share with you guys my thoughts on the best e-bikes on amazon first things first we have to find a good spot to sit down okay this is spot number one okay that guy is in spot number one it's okay there's multiple locations here Okay, this should work nicely. Spot number two. Okay, so before jumping straight to Amazon and showing you guys my top picks, I think I have like five, maybe six bikes in total. You first have to understand what's involved in buying a bike off of Amazon. And to do that, I have a visual aid. So this is Amazon eBike pros and cons. So there's many pros. The first big one is that it's easy, right? We all have Amazon Prime accounts, fast shipping. It's reliable. We all know that Amazon has your backs. We have 30 day returns. So the buying experience is pretty good on Amazon. In fact, over to Amazon right now we can see what the landscape looks like but a lot of these are no name kind of Amazon aka cheap Chinese e-bikes and that brings us to the first con which is no name brands so that list of no name generic e-bikes on Amazon we just saw does have its pros of being affordable cheap easy to buy but the cons is that unlike the brand names Super 73 Onyx the customer support post-purchase is essentially non-existent for a lot of these offerings. So most likely for all of these Amazon bikes, if something goes wrong past the 30-day return period that's offered by Amazon, there's a thin chance that the company is gonna help you out in fixing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no post-purchase support. So as you go through my list here, keep all of that in the back of your mind. Uh, I'm going to leave all these bikes linked down below. They will be affiliate links. So if you buy through my link, I will get a small commission. Oh yeah, and I selected all these bikes based off of their price to spec ratio. So I wanted the best motor, battery, as well as the most utilitarian bike for the dollar. Okay, so let's begin with the most basic traditional bike design. So this comes in at $689 at the current moment, and it has a four out of five star rating with 181 reviews. And if we take a closer look at the bike itself, it's a very standard kind of Walmart-esque bike. It does have a basic suspension fork up front here. Uh, the battery is in the middle of the, the frame, and it kind of seems like they took a bike and installed an e-bike conversion kit on it for you. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. This does have a 500 watt motor. When I was evaluating these bikes, I did not want to go below 500 watts. I did see a bunch that were like 250, 350, but 500 was my minimum. And this has that for just $689. And the battery capacity here is 48 volts at 10 amp hours. Now, another hard line I had was I didn't want anything below 48 volts and this at least has that as well. And another main advantage of buying an e-bike off of Amazon is the reviews. And if we take a look at them right now, they're mostly positive, and there's also a ton of photos that you can look at if you want a bit more uh, data on this bike. Okay, we gotta move into the shade. That is unbearable. Now the next bike I have for you guys on this list is essentially the fat tire version of the previous one. It's a little bit more expensive. This comes in at just shy of 1,000 bucks, but again, this is another highly rated bike with just over 100 ratings with a cumulative score of four and a half stars. Taking a look at the main photo here, this is again a generic kind of Walmart bike with a battery and a motor slapped onto it. The specs are acceptable to me at least. The battery is 48 volts with a 12 and a half amp hour capacity to it. And again, we're dealing with a 500 watt hub motor. Coming back to the main photo, I do appreciate the things like the integrated headlight, as well as the very crude mud guards front and back. And for just under a thousand bucks, as long as it lives up to all of its claims, to me, it's a pretty good value bike at that point. And to help us with this, we can take a look at the reviews and across the board, they're mostly positive. And there's even a ton of photos we can take a look at to see what the bike actually looks like. 
Okay, now moving right along, the next bike is a bit more unique in terms of its frame and aesthetics, because this is a full-size folding bike, and it's also full suspension. We have both front and rear shocks. And if you guys have ever seen a folding bike before, you should be familiar with how this functions. It folds right in the middle, and both the controller and the battery are inside that middle tube section. As mentioned, it is full size with 26 inch tires, the battery 48 volts, 10 amp hours with a 500 watt hub motor. Now, if we come down to the reviews, um, it's 4.6 out of five stars. But if we take a look at the photos, some of these are on a completely different bike. There are some reviews of this actual model and it looks pretty solid in person. So my best guess is that this is a Chinese seller. They have multiple listings, multiple products that they sell, and they recently kind of converted this listing to sell this bike. So they should be legit. And if not, this is Amazon, so you could always return it within that 30 day period. Okay, now the next bike I have for you guys is my personal favorite style. And this is the mini folding bikes. In fact, that's my current bike right now. So just like with the previous bike, this folds in a similar way right down the middle. And inside of there is where you're gonna find the controller along with the battery. But where it differs is the overall geometry of the bike as well as the wheels. So we're dealing with 20 inch fat tires here. I'm noticing nice full coverage fenders front and back along with a rear rack. And this is a full suspension setup. So we have a fork in the front and a swing arm in the rear. The price comes in right there at $1,000 with 157 reviews with a very high 4.6 out of 5 rating. And like I said, this is the basic design that I ride every single day. Of course, the brand is different, and this bike's stock was more expensive, like $1,600. So some components will be different, but the overall frame is, as far as I can tell, the same, and I'm a huge fan of this. Now, on the theme of mini bikes, which I kind of have a soft spot for, I came across this one. It's just 500 bucks. The specs are a bit uh, weak, so it's just a 350 watt motor. I like the battery. It's 48 volts, 10 amp hours, and the wheels are just 14 inches in size. And we take a look at the photos here. This is a full suspension, really miniature bike. It's kind of unique, and they call it a stable triangular force structure. So whether or not it's better than a regular full suspension bike, I'm not sure, but regardless, it's pretty cool. And finally, to finish off the video, I bring you guys a Super 73 knockoff. So if I just go through these photos, we can clearly see the resemblance to the Super 73 RX series. And that's not a bad thing. It does look pretty solid, even in this knockoff branding. It comes in at $1,700, and compared to an actual Super 73, that's not bad. Although keep in mind, I'm sure the components, like the suspension fork, isn't anywhere near as high quality. But in terms of looks, it does have the 20 by four fat tires. The motor is a bit stronger than the previous one, 750 watts, 48 volts. And they don't say the amp hour capacity, but if you come down to the Q&A, somebody answered and said the battery is 18 amp hours. And speaking of the reviews, they're kind of mixed and there's not a lot. Some people are pretty happy with it. Some people are disappointed. And there is one that posted photos of the actual bike. So I guess you guys could be the judge. Yeah, so that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave all these bikes linked down below so you guys can check it out. And there will be affiliate links, so if you end up buying anything with my link, I will get a small commission, which is always greatly appreciated. Helps me to continue to make these videos. If you're new, make sure to subscribe for future content. I upload a new video every three, four days. At least I try my best to. But yeah, that's the end. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it real.